Hey guys, this is username from Zone15. Uh, welcome to my masterclass. So this uh, video will be talking about Normandy Arena and how you can spec your officers uh, and your troops for maximum effect. Of course, what you learn here will be able uh, will be applicable to uh, PvP as well when you attack other people, right? So this masterclass is not for beginners, right? I expect you to know that uh, senior officers apply everything, uh, junior officers only have their skills applied um, you know if you don't know the basics then um, uh, what you call it watch uh, other people's videos to learn how 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 true compositions work now coming to normandy arena right um, i'll use my defense as an example um, if you are new to to proper troop compositions right i'm guessing here is how you would spec your troops get the one with the highest uh, uh highest power and then just average it out to all four right and then you just confirm and repeat this one two three four and then hope that your power is higher than the others now if you do this you can you you only win against the weaker uh, players right you'll definitely lose if you're fighting someone of equal strength or above so don't do that how you need to to to, to compose your troops are you have to uh, what you call that build one troop specific for one type of uh, uh, what is this i don't know what you call this uh, one specific type of uh, class i guess uh, tanks or whatever it is and the way you do that is by experimenting um, and seeing what gets you the best uh, specs for this okay so i'll build one so uh, you need to know which uh, officer is spec for what right? this goes without saying you need to know that okay for riven if i'm spec for a uh, siege right in my talent tree um, probably i have to put her as a junior officer over here so that you know at least i have use of her her skills right and if let's say maria uh, sorry angelica for me is spec as infantry uh dorian is spec as siege you need to know what your officers are spec for so that you can apply them accordingly over here okay so let's start with linda linda for me is spec as a tank you can see over here tank attack increase is 34 percent tank destroyer 21 percent infantry attack 15 percent artillery 16 percent so it would only make sense for me to maximize tanks in this troop and so what do i pair as the junior for this evelyn is the one that has the highest power right so if i have her here you see my tank attack goes up to 34 percent but is she the best so you gotta cycle through your officers and see which one gives you the best combination right Dorian gives me 34 percent um so and so forth cat cat gives me 44 percent that's a massive jump Right, so and cat is also a, a tank type you can see over here on your left. Right, and she gives extra benefit for tanks. So Linda and Cat is a very good combination for tanks. Now you may ask, it's like, hey, why not put Cat as the senior, right? Cat's a goal officer. Let's do that and then you see why. When you see my tank and attack, tank attack increase is only 36%. Right, and that's because for me, Catherine is spec as jungler, not a tank. So you need to take your 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 talents into com into consideration as well, right? When you create these uh, compositions, just because uh, an officer is purple doesn't mean she shouldn't be leading. Just because an officer is blue means she's absolutely useless and shouldn't be in your 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 lineup at all, right? In fact, Marjorie for me. Marjorie is tank for uh is a uh, spec for gatherer for me, but her skills are tank oriented, right? Does this mean that Marjorie is great um for tanks? Not necessarily. You can see a tank attack increase of 37%. Um if I put Linda plus Marjorie, right, that gives me a 42% tank increase. And um Marjorie's uh uh, first skill has a 600 damage and tank attack of 8%. So it's almost as good as cat. But for me, Linda, cat gives me the best benefit. So that's what I'm going with. 
okay and then maximum tanks confirm so then you now know that linda is your tank army keep that in mind now then you have to build next one would be an infantry uh, a tank destroyer army for instance or infantry army so let's see where this gets us so let's say i start with evelyn right evelyn is back for infantry my infantry is at 26 percent now who should i put as my junior officer let's say angelica angelica i know that she's back for infantry in uh in in my talents right so let's have a look at this infantry attack 36 percent now what if i swap this around my infantry is now 43 percent this is a better combination right so there may, might be others inside here you know other officers that are better specs for infantry you got to find your own combination that works best okay but make sure each one has its own specialty so you need to have at least one infantry one tank one tank destroyer right and then the the other two uh, depending on how many uh, armies you have right if you have three then so be it if you have four then you can have maybe your fourth one either as a general uh, general purpose one so let's say uh, dorian and um say grace right this is probably general purpose where you have 29 percent 27 percent 21 percent 22 percent you can see right for tank attack increase tank destroy attack increase so this is pretty general purpose so for this fine you can have um let's say 20 actually no i'll probably put 23,000 or 16,000 right and this one i will put at the back so it's general purpose to support whichever um you know troop composition that the enemy has now you need to also consider how the enemy um, um specs their troops and then that's where you know uh who to put against what you can't just have one and uh, make it one purpose fits or it doesn't work that way you you surely will lose right so for me now now that you know that linda is uh tanks right and angelica is um infantry um maria is tank destroyer marjorie is tanks right you can see from here maria you can see from here or on your left right you can see that she is most likely going to be an anti-tank most likely it, it, your, the, the enemy may not uh spec her in an anti-tank configuration but chances are it's an anti-tank right so you need to remember who is spec for what uh dorian is general purpose uh marjorie is tanks right uh, grace is general purpose jessica is uh, anti-tank right you can see from over here jessica is anti-tank so on and so forth so when you see the enemy's composition okay if linda's on the left marjorie's on the right uh cats in the middle so like okay so let's imagine this is the army's the enemy's composition let's say like that okay so over here, so to counter let's say linda linda is back for tanks to counter Linda, you need to have your tank destroyer here over at the front, right? So that when they come together, your tank destroyer will destroy Linda's tanks. Now at the back, if the enemy has Angelica, if the enemy has Angelica, right? Angelica is probably uh, infantry, right? Infantry. So what's good against infantry? Tanks. So your back troop should be tanks. Because, you know, remember your front troop was uh, tank destroyers, right? Infantry is strong against tank destroyers. So when, so here's the sequence of what's going to happen, right? When this battle starts, your tank destroyers will destroy Linda's tanks. And then your tank destroyers will move forward to attack Angelica's scout. But, uh, sorry, infantry, right? So infantry is strong against tanks. You should know this already, right? Infantry is strong against tanks. Tanks are strong, uh, uh, sorry, infantry is strong against tank destroyers. Uh, tank destroyers are strong against tanks and tanks are strong against infantry so if your front troop is a tank destroyer they will destroy linda right tanks but then angelica's infantry will destroy your tank destroyers so you need to at the back over here you need to have a tank troop to destroy uh, angelica's infantry so that's how you move things around right maria let's say maria has a uh, Maria's anti-tank. 
So over here, you need to put uh, infantry. Okay. Marjorie is tanks. So over here, you need to put tank destroyers. Right. And that's how you sort things around. So on and so forth. I expect you should also understand, uh, you know, how, uh, how front attacks front, front attacks back, left attacks right, so on and so forth. And that's how you counter against the enemy. Okay. So this ends uh oh be, uh, uh this ends the attack part I'll cover one last thing um after you do every attack you should check your history and you should check your specs to see how your troops perform and whether or not this is a good um composition for you right so if you don't know how to read this let me quickly cover on your left is how many units are remaining after the um after the attack the center column is how if, if there are any heals involved and of course on the right are the kills that each individual army has done right so in this scenario you can see that everyone pretty much did quite well right so my angelica top row angelica did the best with 93 kills uh fourth row linda eighty one thousand kills right so and so forth so if let's say you are still testing your compositions you don't know what's great yet let's say in this case okay let, let's take this as an example so uh linda killed 100,000 troops great um but uh, maria the top the top row right maria only killed 59,000 um troops so maybe my composition for maria is not very ideal or maybe my positioning right so let's quickly cover that uh one more time so composition is what goes in right which officer do you use uh which troop do you go in positioning right maybe maria was positioned for the wrong uh person right i i, I you know maybe maria um, was hitting someone that was actually spec for uh, infantry for instance so you need to go back every time you do an attack go back to history and do a check so you can switch things around and um, in fact what you can do what i do recommend if you really want to test it keep searching for uh, when you make a challenge when you make a challenge always uh maybe you know fight against the same person so you can keep refreshing until you find the person again and again there is no limit to refreshing okay so let's say if i want to beat wall street kid right <clears throat> i have to challenge him until i beat him so his composition is never going to change right so it's a good um way to test okay i have a different composition how did i did previously in my first attack against wall street against my second attack change the positioning maybe first at then the second attack compared to the third attack so then you know which is the best combination for you and that's how you perfect your line of defense and your your, your line of attack and hopefully this gets you higher up the rankings and of course better rewards okay so this ends my uh, master class i hope you've learned something from this um, if you are part of D4D family in uh, Zone 15, uh, if you have any questions about your very specific troop lineup, feel free to ask us in Discord and uh, we'll do our best to help you. Alright, have a great day. Bye.